Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me, once again, welcome back to another movie review, aka after I saw this time, it is going to be on Downton Abbey, A New Era. Now this film reunites the cast of the first movie as the cast goes on a grand journey to the south of France to uncover the mystery of the Dowager Countess's newly inherited villa. And um, now, I like the first Downton Abbey movie. I didn't love it. Um, I know it's based off a very popular TV series that is aimed towards a much older audience. And I mean much, much older audience because basically seniors, pretty much. That's the best way I can describe it. But, uh, I mean, middle-aged adults also enjoy it as well. So it makes sense that these would be put up on the big screen because uh, a show like this... Um, does feel like it um, would get big screen adaptations, and it did. The first movie was very successful, and um, while I did have some issues basically with the pacing uh, with the first movie, I still thought it was an enjoyable film. And this one, I can say I liked it just as much as the first movie. Basically, um, the biggest thing I can say about these movies is that the characters have so much to them, okay? I feel like the actors are completely invisible. They all do a very phenomenal job in this movie, and I feel like they are what keep this movie going because it focuses a lot on these characters, and it has a humongous cast of characters. Like with the opening credits, they have like 30 different people show up on show up on the the screen, pretty much. That like the names of the cast, like it was just so big. So it, it shows that they're putting a lot of love into these characters. Though, when it comes to these movies, I feel like um, the story is a little bit too hard to understand because they add in, with all these characters, comes multiple different uh, plot points to the movie that I couldn't fully keep up with. But my favorite storyline out of all of them is uh, the one where they're shooting a movie, which was supposed to be a silent movie, but because this is an era where uh, silent films are starting to turn into more talkative films, and because... Uh, talking movies are more are starting to become more popular and making more money they have a feeling that this movie is going to flop so they decide to dub in their voices so I, that's probably my favorite aspect of this whole movie and um i can definitely see where fans of the show would find these movies interesting because um they do have a lot going for it i just find the plot lines to be kind of hard to understand but uh and the movies do feel a bit too long for me. I mean, I think two hours is a bit long. Maybe shave off like 15 minutes. Uh, both the last movie and this movie I feel like are a bit too long. But hey, I think uh, these movies do do a respectable job for the fans. Because if this is what uh, the show is supposed to be like, then I feel like uh, fans are definitely uh, going to be satisfied with this one and happy uh, with it. And uh, it's a gorgeous looking movie, so it shows that uh, the director has really put in a lot of thought and effort into these movies to make fans happy. And um, I will say there is a very emotional scene that is definitely going to have fans tearing up. And um, I will admit it did get me into a little teary as, as well. And um, I'm obviously not going to spoil. Uh, they're just going to have to see the movie for yourself. Though uh, when I think of uh, people who watch my videos, they don't really expect me to review movies like this. But I just want to watch something that I know is going to be good or hope is going to be good. And this movie was good. I still think it's pretty flawed, but at least in my perspective. But uh, I feel like fans, this one is definitely more aimed towards towards the fans. Though critics have really been enjoying it as well. But uh, yeah, for me, um, this was just as good as uh, the first movie. Basically, I liked it just as much. I do feel like it still has some pacing issues and some minor plot lines that I felt was a little bit hard for me to keep up with. But I think if you are a longtime fan of the show, then I think you can understand them and keep up with them a lot more. But hey, there's a lot of scenes with uh, people talking and territory interactions don't last too terribly long. So I'm thankful for that as well. And, um, like, the editing is pretty quick here and there, but, uh, it's still not going to be everyone's cup of tea. N no, no pun intended, because cup of tea, this is a British film, but, yeah. But if you're a longtime fan, I think you're going to be very satisfied. When I was working, there was a lot of people coming to see this movie, uh, just like with the first movie. There were so many people that came to my location to see the first Downton Abbey. It was crazy, but... Yeah, I think uh, you'll probably like this just as much as the first one, if not probably even more than the first one. As for me, I liked it just as much as I did with the first one. 
you know, it's really funny because um, we just got a movie based off a TV show that just came out this week. And we have another one coming out next week. And it's based off a show that I am a fan of. And I'm really looking forward to seeing that as well. But first, I'm going to be seeing Top Gun Maverick. Uh, really looking forward to both movies. Hopefully, they'll be great. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Word out.